Hey guys, um, apologies if you can hear any building work in the background in today's video. Um, it's been going on all day so there's not much I could do about it. But I did want to show you a video today where we look at the recipe card with the Creatista Uno in a little bit more detail. Because as we mentioned in the unboxing the, uh, video we did the other day, it comes with a recipe card with four recipes on it. So that's the flat white, the cafe latte, the cappuccino and the latte macchiato. Now, I thought this would be a good thing to do just to make all four of those drinks, just so you can check the froth levels on the machine and do they actually make a difference? You know, uh, is the froth any different on them or is it just a bit of a, a selling ploy? So we're gonna start with the flat white then. So if you have a look on top of the machine, we've got the froth level set to one, um, the heat level is set to two, and we have to pour the shot of espresso first. We've got the minimum amount of milk in the jug um, so let's, we're using Starbucks pods today by the way, so we've done a review of these recently with a variety pack in two parts, so if you're interested in, to know more about those, do check that review out. Uh, I'll link to it above now so you can do that. Um, so we'll make a shot of espresso to start. Also we have, um, I'll leave a link to the machine where you can get that on Amazon uh, in the description, so you can check that out at any time as well. So we've got our shot of espresso. You might prefer two shots of espresso with a flat white and maybe a slightly bigger cup, whatever works for you, but we're making it just for the recipe and how it says to make it on the Nespresso card. Apologies for the purging sound, not much I could do about that. Um, but yeah, that's the flat white then. So we see a, a thin layer of uh, froth at the top. I'm gonna to make the latte with more milk. I'm gonna set it to the maximum line. It just doesn't make any sense to me to have um, a flat white and a, a latte the same size, the same drink. Um, surely I've, I thought there would have been more milk in a latte myself. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put more milk in. I'm gonna fill it to the top of the recipe glass um, and I'll try and get the last of the milk coming out on top so that you can hopefully do your latte or something I need to learn. So again then we have a shot of espresso first. For the latte, I definitely, 100% myself, would have two shots for the latte, but I've drank a lot of coffee already today, so it would just be a waste today if I put two in. So I won't be drinking this one. And then we press the steam one button. Do check out the review of the Creatista Pro, by the way, because that one can, in this country anyway, can bring coffee and milk at the same time. Let's just see what the texture of this milk comes out like then. So if we have a look on the top as we approach the end, hopefully that'll give you a bit of a clue as to what this milk is looking like. Tiniest bit left in the top. So would you be able to do any latte art with that? <laughs> as you can see, I'm no expert, but uh, I'm sure if you're into that kind of thing, you'll be able to see whether it'd be possible on that setting. So that's a cafe latte. So moving on to cappuccino then. Um, froth level needs to go up one to level two. Um, again, minimum milk line, uh, and that's pretty much the only change on that one. So let's change the froth level on top to the second setting. Shot of espresso to start. So that's the cappuccino then, uh, nice thick, thick froth on top. I did tap and swirl the jug a little bit just to give it a better froth. Um, but you can also, we have a video on the channel where we um, made it with a, a bit less milk than the minimum line. Um, so you might want to try that as well, but I think that looks nice. A definite difference between that and the flat white. So the final one then is the latte macchiato. Now we're on max milk, so we pour it to the maximum milk line, um, maximum froth level. And then we're also pouring the milk in first this time with a shot of espresso over the top afterwards. Um, so let's see what the froth comes out like on that one compared to the rest of them. As you can see, we've set it up to the maximum froth level. Um, this time we're pressing the milk button first. And 
I learned my lesson with them um, when we last made this drink that you can uh, pretty much pour all of all of the milk in to your recipe glass. So we'll pour the milk in then. Looks like I've put a tiny bit too much in, but we'll uh, pour the espresso in over the top, see if we get away with it. Just about. <laughs> nice latte macchiato. Um, so we can see then clearly there are very different froth levels to this machine. There's only three, um, and I thought this video was a good. I thought this video was a good one to do because when you've got lots of froth settings like you have on the other Creatistas, it's not so much of an issue. You're not worried about the differences because you can tweak them so much. But with this, with only three settings, you want to know really: can you make the main drinks? Can you make a flat white? Yes, you can. Can you make a latte? Yes, you can. A good cappuccino. I was surprised how well that came out. How good that froth level was. Really good for a cappuccino. And then the latte macchiato here, it, it's, a, it's done a good job, hasn't it? Um, so let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, if it's helped you out, please give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.